Welcome, everybody. I am Scott from Filmora Effects, and I'm going to tell you something that's kind of buried inside of Filmora that's going to really help you out if you're a YouTuber. Do you like to make shorts? Shorts is the thing, right? Shorts is the thing now. Uh, so, normally when you're out there videoing, you turn in your camera like this, called landscape mode. And while you're recording, maybe something really cool out there is happening. And when you go back to edit, you say, oh man, I'm going to make that into a short. Well, the problem is, for you two, that's a short. That's a short. Portrait mode is a short. You can also do one-to-one, -one, like an Instagram kind of format. They will accept that as a short, but it turns out to be a little square in a big rectangle. It doesn't look so great. Uh, that's a short. Not a short. Short. So, you're filming like this, and you catch something, and it's so awesome. You're just like, oh my gosh, I've got to turn this into a short and get it out there. Well, for more of will let you do that. There is a little tool buried inside of Filmora that lets you take that landscape, convert it to a portrait mode, and then export it in the correct format for YouTube short, and I'm going to show you how to do it. Welcome back, everybody. Now I'm going to show you step by step how to convert your widescreen into a portrait mode for a YouTube short. First off, you'll need some footage. I went outside and filmed a clip here of me walking around. We're going to take all defaults for right now. And the first thing you need to do this is a 21 minute clip. So, first thing you need to do is take your clip and figure out what part of it you want as a short. Uh, because what we're going to do is a conversion process that's going to take a very long time if you try to do a 20 minute video. So let's just find what we're looking for. So what I got here is a tiny little part in a really long video, but I want to cut this out as a short. So buried in this little part, I found a lizard on some rocks that was jumping around and I want to turn that into a short. There's the lizard. So all we want to do is get a little before the short and a little after. And then we can do the conversion process a whole lot faster. So there's my lizard and I'll just cut it right there somewhere and delete that part. And that's it is as easy as that. We've cut out the section that we want to, uh, some of which we want to use for our YouTube short. Let's go ahead and export that file. Uh, make sure you call it something that makes sense. Uh, so that's good enough for me. Dancing Lizard Test 1. Keep everything here the same and export. Got your little clip exported. It's time to open up the little tool that's kind of hidden in there. Now a lot of you Filmora users do start your program from the startup window. There is an option to not start up from the startup window and that's what I choose. So when my Filmora opens, this is the screen I see. But to get back to it, we're going to go to File, Return to Startup Window. You want to save the changes? Go ahead and save them if you want. We don't need to right now. Once you get back to the Startup Window, just simply scroll over and click Auto Reframe. Get your Auto Reframe window open. It's time to import that file, the one that we took the little clip out of. And let me grab that. Okay, I renamed it to need to auto reframe so that I can keep track of what I'm doing. And we're doing a quick scroll through to make sure this is exactly what we want. And it is. And it automatically converts over to portrait mode, but you can change it to whatever you want. So we're coming from 16.9, we want, I'm sorry, we're coming from 16.29, and we want 9 to 16. Please leave your motion speed on auto and analyze the file. All right, I'm going to go ahead and stop that, and I'm going to do a little scroll through instead. And pay attention to the window. 
Adjust frame is on by default. All you want to do is left click your mouse and drag your frame. It will create a little orange dot, it's sort of like a keyframe. And this will help you center up whatever it is you're trying to do. So anytime this window gets a little too far away, we'll just drag it back. We want to keep the lizard pretty much in the center of the screen. And I'm not going to do it all, but once you get it the way you like it, press export. Okay, has been reframed. <laughs> has been reframed. That will help me keep my files straight. We'll export that out. It adds an auto reframe to it, so it helps you remember what, what's going on. And that's it. We can close this window, uh, or you can take that file right there, has been reframed, uh, retitle it, and shoot that straight up to YouTube as a short right now without doing any further work. But our goal is to bring this back into Filmora to add some audio, uh, maybe a LUT or two, uh, maybe some text, whatever we want to do. Uh, also, we want to trim it up a little bit because remember we made it a little long and we want to trim it to exactly the size we want. So remember that name has been reframed, auto reframe 9 to 16. Close your auto reframe window. Okay, once you've left the auto reframe tool and you're back over to Filmora, I'm going to uh, tell you one of the most important things you need to know about this process. Uh, don't start importing anything until you change your resolution. Set this project to 9 to 16 portrait. Now import the file that we just made via auto reframe. Drop it on the screen. I know that looks weird. Don't worry about it right now. We can fix it. Now I want you to go right here to this little picture that says preview quality and display settings. Change the project aspect ratio to guess what 9 by 16. Now we are actually going to see in our preview window exactly what you're going to see on YouTube. This is where you can go ahead and start editing your clip. So let's say we want to start it there. We'll just delete that. Let's fix the ending. So the lizard is gone. Okay, that was a pretty good ending. Then we want to mute the file, add some titles. Anyway, I'm going to go on and on, but you can just, uh, just grab any old title here and drop it. Okay, now... <clears throat> Now that we've got this all set up the way we like it, we're ready to export it so we can send it to YouTube for real. And here's how you do that. Click on export and don't do anything. Uh, give it a good title, give it a good location, and leave this alone. Match the project settings because we've already set the project to the portrait mode. So we're going to, because I have so many files in this folder, I'm just going to put a stupid name on it. Final, final, final. So I know where to find it when I'm done. Go ahead and export it. Once you're done, you're done. You're ready to upload that file to YouTube. It is finished. Final, final, final. It will have the text. It'll have the sounds. It'll have the LUTs. Whatever you did to it, it'll have it. And that's everything, guys. I want to thank you for watching. I hope that... Um, you make lots of shorts, and let me give you a pro tip number 799. Uh, YouTube pays $70 USD for 1 million views. I'm going to let that sink in for a second. For a short, you get 70 bucks for a million views. It's really hard to get a million views on a video, but... That's not why we're making shorts. We're certainly not going to get rich on shorts. But what it does is gives your overall views increase for your channel. Your subscribers go up significantly, and which in turn helps your other videos because those subscribers will often go check out your channel and start watching your videos, which are probably monetized where you can make some decent money. Anyway, that's it. Good luck. Make many, many, many millions of views. You can now take your widescreen videos, convert them over to shorts, upload them to YouTube, and become a millionaire.